are you feeling the need for being detached are you feeling that there's something in your life which you need to get rid of but you are wondering will you get rid of it or should you get rid of it or will it even work if you get rid of it right so if you're feeling that there is some confusion in regards to some area of your life where you need to go to the next level but you are still not sure if you need to go in which direction or do you still need to stay in the same place or you need to go back and change something then you are in the right place because that's exactly what we are going to discuss today is the mutual aspect of jupiter and ketu well of course ketu does not have a head many astrologers say that ketu does not have aspect but nonetheless jupiter is aspecting ketu and there's no doubt on it so what's going on for the next one year approximately i think till 14th of may next year jupiter will be aspecting ketu right so jupiter is in the sign of taurus and ketu is in the sign of virgo so from there with his fifth aspect he is aspecting ketu right very interesting placement because this is a this is a placement which is good for our spiritual life and also maybe for our material life but let's not try to put things in black and white let's try to understand this can be good or bad for which which people all right so first of all you need to understand if in your chart you have a very strong trine which means not only one trine both the trines or at least one of them so if your fifth house ninth house they are strong or your fifth lord ninth lord they are strong or both of them and also if your jupiter is strong in your natal chart and if you have a well placed 12th lord now what is a well placed 12th lord if your 12th lord is in a good dignity you know so if it is in a good sign like you know own sign exaltation or multricorn or friend sign at least then what happens is this conjunction will be beneficial for you uh, i mean this mutual aspect or jupiter's aspect to ketu will be beneficial for you why do i say this because if you have strong trines and if you have a good 12th lord then see what what actually ketu represents ketu is getting affected by jupiter so what does ketu represent ketu represents letting go of things which you need to let go letting go of things which you should have let go long 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 time back right so because ketu represents things which we have already achieved in the past so people think okay ketu means okay so for example people think ketu is in the 10th house so uh, let go of career no it's not like that it means it does not mean that you have to not do things in your career it means that you have to let go of the obsession in regards to this idea that you can only be successful in life if you have a good career okay so this is something which you have to let go so this, this is a very big misconception that wherever ketu is you will let go of that thing no not absolutely not but it shows that you have achieved uh, quite uh, significantly in your past in your previous lifetime so now you have to kind of understand that maybe career is not all in all i mean it is important money is very important in this material world but that is not all in all okay for a person who has ketu in the 10th house so therefore it does not mean in this life that wherever your ketu is you will not be obsessed or you won't have motivation in that area of life because opposite of ketu rahu is there so people think oh rahu is in uh, maybe fourth house so i'll be obsessed with knowledge learning and education and because ketu is in 10th i will not be obsessed with uh, career well it could go the other way around also okay so therefore you need to understand wherever ketu is you don't have to ditch that house you don't nor will you ever ditch that house because ketu represents the flag flag is like a territory which is conquered but try to think what happens when you conquer a territory is it still done <laughs> do you feel that okay everything is complete no mostly people don't they are still attached you know i will punish those who are against me who did not support me in my journey so whenever you think of ketu or whenever ketu dasha is going on you have to very strongly understand that you have to let go of things which uh, you have to let go of people who did not support you so for example ketu is like the flag you know so for example flag is like you win something but what happens initially when you start a battle everybody is against you right 
So for example, you know, you try to do something in entrepreneurship or you to you try to open your own, you know, YouTube channel, for example. Initially, what will happen? Most of the people will say, you know, oh, this won't work. This is useless. This is not going to fructify, blah, blah, blah. They said to me and so many other people I know. It's very usual because these are different things, right? Entrepreneurship also. So then what happens when you become successful, you become a big unicorn, uh, your company, then do you go against, you know, grudging against every person who said you will never become an entrepreneur? Well, you could do, but it does not make sense. I mean, how far will you go, right? So there has to be a limit to everything, okay? So therefore, this, this is that typical tendency because Ketu has anger. Don't forget, Ketu has fire. Ketu is... Uh, Ketu is considered to be the senior version, you know, higher version of Mars, okay? Mars represents anger, Ketu represents blazing anger, okay? That's the difference. So therefore, wherever Ketu is in your chart, you need to understand that if you have achieved success in that area, then you have to stop grudging over things that uh, did not work out or people who said you will not make it, okay? But now the interesting thing is Jupiter is aspecting Ketu. And when Jupiter aspects any planet, what happens? You start to gain optimism in regards to that house. And because of that, you start to feel that this thing is doable for me. Okay. Otherwise, if there is no aspect of Jupiter, you will feel very daunting. You will feel, oh my God, this is too much. You know, I, 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 I can't do this. This is too much a price for me to pay. The checkbook, uh, the check will... Uh, <laughs> the check will seem very heavy, right? Although it's the same check, but the amount will make it very heavy. So you might you might have been feeling in the last uh, six months to one year, or at least since last, you know, around October when this transit, uh, Ketu's transit happened, you might have felt that, oh yeah, you know, yeah, actually uh, it's too much. I can't pay this price, okay? So therefore... Now is the time that you might develop this optimism to actually go and pay the price. Because now what happens is whenever Jupiter aspects a particular planet, you start seeing some, optimis some optimistic signs in that area of life. That happens by default. So therefore, if, if you are feeling that the price is too high, then maybe you have to understand that the price is too little actually. And also there are many other things, you know, like Saturn in Aquarius and then Saturn will move into Pisces next year. So <clears throat> a lot of interesting things are going on. But you have to understand as a human that it is not that I need to be successful just in one area of life. You know, the, because of that, your misery comes. Like I know so many people, they say, you know, okay, I, I, I have a decent married life, but my career is not good. So I'm unhappy. And then I tell them, well, look at your overall life. You have a good health. You have at least, you know, support from your parents, your spouse. You have good children. You have good married life. You have a, you know, you have good friends. You have a spiritual community. Everything is there except this, you know, stability in career, which is also not that terrible for you at the moment. But why do you think you are a failure? Why do, I, why do you think you are a complete loser in life? You should not think like that. But what happens is, the material world, the mind which is there inside us, you know, the mind always convinces us that if you are a failure in one area of life, uh, you are a complete failure, okay? The mind convinces us, the mind tricks us to believing actually because uh, our intelligence is weak and how do you strengthen the intelligence by reading the scriptures, by associating with spiritually elevated people, great personalities. By that, you will know that the mind is only giving me horror stories and I am not obliged. <laughs> and the mind is not entitled to uh, making me believe everything. Okay, so neither am I obliged, uh, or neither is the mind entitled. Okay, so therefore, you have to understand that everybody has to pay a price. But at the same time, the price has to be paid in the right direction. So for that, right guidance is required. Okay, so therefore... If you feel that there is some area of life where you need to pay a very heavy price, then try to seek guidance from somebody who is successful in that area. Okay, They will tell you where is your limit. They, they will tell you where to draw the line. Otherwise, later on, you may realize because of this that, oh, I was exaggerating my scenarios. I was thinking I have to do so much this, that, this, that. But then in reality, I don't have to do any of this or maybe one or two of these things or maybe a part of that only 
has to be there from my side okay so therefore don't think that what you are thinking is all in all so therefore try and seek guidance if you feel that you have to leave certain things but understand that you have to do it anyways the degree and the extent can vary the quality can also vary to some extent but there has to be some sacrifice that's required and now because jupiter's aspect is there so you will think of stability because jupiter is in taurus you will think of growth and also you will think of expansion okay and of course because ketu is in virgo you know there could be some over analysis which is fine but what at the end the only thing that you need to take away from this video is that you are somewhere at this point of life and you know that there is something which you have to leave there's a baggage which you have to drop okay and without it it can't happen so now is the time that you will develop optimism or rather you should develop optimism you know by reading good books and by associating with good people and understand and realize that you need to pay a price and the moment you do this you will see your life is moving in the right direction all right so wish you all the best uh with this period and i'm sure you will do very good all right as usual if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe and if you enjoyed this content don't forget to hit the thumbs up and uh, for consultations you can always proceed to my website down in the description section okay god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him for sure